everyone, I hope you're okay. Today I have a Primark haul for you and I am like really excited. I don't even know why, I'm just really excited because I feel like I've bought a few things that hopefully you guys are gonna absolutely love. Um, I haven't been to Primark for ages. I don't think I've gone to Primark since before Christmas possibly, which is quite a long time in my books. The reason why is because I don't have a Primark in my town, but there is one coming very soon. Like I can't wait for my town to like get into like the 21st century. I'm gonna start off with a thing that led me into Primark for the first, like, that doesn't make any sense. Basically, I'm gonna show you the thing that made me want to go to Primark, if that makes sense. So I have got this blush pink biker jacket. And I don't even know if I'm doing it any justice whatsoever, but this is literally the most beautiful jacket I have possibly ever laid eyes on. I have been after a pink, like, big biker jacket for a couple of months now. I thought it would be perfect for spring. I'm obsessed with the colour pink right now. And a lot of them have either been, like, super pricey or the colour's not been quite right or I've just not been sure about the style. But this one is just absolutely perfect. It's got gold detailing, which I love. So many jackets have like silver detailing, which is fine. But I think that the pink and gold just looks really classy. And this is £23. And I think this looks so much more expensive than £23. You can probably can tell from this haul that I am obsessed with the colour pink right now because I've just looked into my bag and I've realised how many pink things there are. So um, I'm going to move on to my next pink item and this is very colourful for me. Now if you watch my videos, read my blog or just know me in general, you'll know that I'm not a colourful person. So um, this jumper is very like whoa for me. But I just saw it and I just thought it was so cute. Um, it's this pink jumper, which is basically almost neon pink. It looks very bright in the camera, but it's more like a Barbie pink in real life. It was £8, which I thought was pretty good value. So next is an item which isn't pink. And um, I just saw this on the rail and I just thought, you know what? I can imagine so many outfits with this t-shirt that I just had to get it. So it's just this striped t-shirt, it's pretty basic, but I really liked the uh, collar detailing of it. I love a striped t-shirt that has a plain collar. Don't ask me why, I just like them. I know that, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I just thought this would be so easy to wear. You could wear it with jeans. And then I'm already thinking about my summer wardrobe because as soon as we get into like February and Christmas is over, I'm already thinking about spring and summer. So I thought this would look really cute with like a skater skirt in the summer. I also thought it'd look really nice with like denim shorts and like bands maybe. I thought that'd be a really cool outfit. It's super, super soft. And I think it's gonna be quite oversized. It was four pounds, so I couldn't like leave it. I'll probably roll up the sleeves to make them like a little bit more flattering, a little bit more cool. Um, but yeah, it's incredibly soft. I thought it's very similar to the striped t-shirts that like Brandy Melville and Topshop do, but obviously for like a fraction of the price. Okay, so we've got another pink item, and this is actually from the menswear section. I was in the menswear section looking for stuff for Henry, and I came across a couple of t-shirts, and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna buy them for myself. Myself, not myself, I don't know what that was all about. Basically, I love a men's t-shirt, and this isn't the first time that I've bought like a men's t-shirt or hoodie. I think that sometimes men's t-shirts fit better. Like, they're quite oversized. Um, I just, I don't know, I just prefer them. And also, I always prefer the men's hoodies in Primark. I don't like the girls' hoodies for some reason. No idea why. But anyways, I saw this top, and I just thought it was a little bit different. Um, I got the extra small because I think even the extra small will probably be quite oversized on me. And this top was £2.50, so I was like, even if I wear it once and then wear it as pyjamas, it's £2.50. But it kind of gave me band t-shirt vibes without it being a band t-shirt, if that makes sense. And I just imagined wearing this with um, like a western belt, my ripped jeans, some really cute ankle boots. However, it would probably be awkward if I bump into a bloke wearing the same t-shirt, but it will definitely be more awkward for him than me. Okay, so next up we've got some face cloths. I always wear face cloths when I go to Primark. Like, can you ever go wrong with a face cloth? I think not. Okay, so next up I have this very basic black v-neck top. But you guys know me, I am very basic when it comes to my clothes. I don't really like anything too out there. So um, I just saw these and I just thought this would be a very simple thing to wear with, you've guessed it, jeans and boots. Um, but I thought it looked nice with like a nice necklace, a choker perhaps, a nice little lacy bralette underneath. 
Um, I just thought it'd be very, very simple to wear, but like very easy, if that makes sense. Um, so this is only £3.50, and I got a black one, and then I got a white one as well, and again, because I just thought um, it would look nice to maybe like a black lacy bralette underneath, and that was again £3.50. So, never underestimate the power of a good, simple top. I also picked up some pants. Um, I don't know why I said pants like that, and I don't know why I just did it again. Um, I picked up these free pack of Brazilian pants because uh, these are my favourite types of pants. I'm just going to throw it out there, a little fact of the day. I This is my favourite pair of pants. So um, I bought this pack of free, two black, one white. You can't go wrong with black and white pants, can you? So um, next I've got up some pyjamas and to be honest with you I was a little bit disappointed with the pyjama section in Primark because um, I went with the intention of buying quite a few pairs and that's probably why I was disappointed because I wanted to buy a few things. Basically all of my pyjamas out of nowhere have just gone like rubbish. So like all of the shorts have lost like their elastic in them and I've had to throw away quite a few pairs. So um, I was ready for like a pyjama update but there was hardly any pyjamas that I liked, so I was left feeling very disappointed. But I did buy one pair, so um, yeah, I just bought these really cute shorts. They're super soft, they're really pretty, they're only £2.50, so hopefully they'll be nice and comfy to sleep in. And then I just got a little top to match with them, and I bought the pink and grey. I think that's quite a cute combo. So just got this lacy top to match, which is again, is super, super soft. It looks a little bit like a granny top, but... Um, Hey ho. Okay, so next I have a sports bra and um, I was really excited about buying some fitness stuff from Primark because I've been seeing a lot of bloggers on Instagram recently wearing all Primark fitness stuff and it looks amazing and I went in specifically looking for a pair of leggings which I didn't have, that was annoying. But um, I did find this sports bra which I thought was really cute. Again, it's in my favourite colour right now, this like dusky pink. And I really liked the um, like strap details, like the double straps. I wear a lot of black vests to the gym. So I will be a little bit more daring by wearing like a coloured sports bra underneath layered. And I just thought this would look quite cute with the double straps and the colour. It is a little bit padded so you're not going to have any nip showing which is good because I'm all for free in the nip but not quite when I'm in a class. Um, so yeah, so I just thought it was pretty and that was £5. So while we're on the topic of uh, fitness, um, I also picked up this uh, top for the gym. Again, it's in a pink colour. And this was also £5 and I just thought it was quite cute. It said it's quick dry fabric so I thought that would be quite good for like more in high intensity classes that I do. And yeah, I haven't got anything in this colour, so I thought it'd mix it up a little bit from all the black. Okay, so I've got one more clothing item before I crack on with all the homeware stuff, and it is pink. So basically, it's it's exactly the kind of like same t-shirt that I bought before with like the New York stuff on, but just a plain one. And yeah, again, this was from the men's section. This one was £3.50. It says it's muscle fit, so hopefully it will show off all my muscles. Um, and yeah, I just thought that it would be very... I just like the colour. I thought it'd look nice with um, a leather skirt. I've been seeing an image on Pinterest that's like this colour top with a leather skirt and I just really like that look so I kind of wanted to recreate it myself. I also picked up some earrings before we go on to the homeware section. I'm really into like different studs at the moment with my earrings and I just thought these were really nice. These were um, two pounds, which I thought you can't really go too wrong with. Now we're gonna move on to the homeware section. And um, first of all, I'm going to start with this reed diffuser. I did buy a couple of reed diffusers, and I bought this one, which was uh, scent pineapple and coconut, and it's got like this gold detailing. And they had the room spray of this, and I gave it a little spray, and it smells amazing. I love the scent coconut. Anything with coconut in, I'm obsessed with. And um, it kind of just smells like a pina colada and sun cream. So I was like, I'm all over this. I also picked up this reed diffuser for, um, I think I'm gonna pop it downstairs in the kitchen. And this is the number 17 Magas Mag Madagascan Vanilla. Um, it's soft and sweet and it's only three pounds. I think these big reed diffusers are new out. I had a small reed diffuser, which was only like a pound, um, which I've got in the kitchen right now. And it doesn't really smell that strong, but it's only very little. But the reason why I got it is because I absolutely love the packaging. I think it looks so classy 
and a lot more expensive than what it is. I think it looks almost a little bit kind of Jo Maloney, diptyche, white company-esque, but obviously it's not. I just think it looks really classy and it's exactly the kind of thing that I wanted for like the kitchen and the dining room. So yeah, really like that. I'm really into a reed diffuser. Like is this what getting in like, is this what being in like your mid twenties is like? You're obsessed with reed diffusers. I also bought a couple of water bottles because we seem to have a real lack of water bottles in our house at the moment. So just picked up this one, which is, I just like pink. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be really good for the gym, that kind of thing. And I think this was £2.50, which is an absolute bargain. And then I bought this one here, which um, I bought for Henry, but I have been using for the past couple of days. And it's the kind of manliest one that I could find in Primark. And it's this workout one. I think it's meant for shakes because it also had like um, almost like a sieve. And then this bit here, um, I don't want to take it out. Can I take it? I don't want like water to go all over me, yeah. So this bit here I think is for like the protein or something. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah. So I picked that up and that was £3.50. match with my gold and pink and black theme for my office, I also picked up this gold pot. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought I could maybe pop pens and pencils in it. I could pop makeup brushes in it. I could put makeup in it. I thought there's loads of things that I could do with this and I just thought it was quite cute. Um, and that was only two pounds. So I thought it was quite good value. So I've now got some Primark coasters and these are like Marvel drinks coasters. I've already got a pack of these. I bought these before Christmas and I bought the matching placemats as well, which I love and use all the time. And I thought I'd just pick up another pack of the coasters because sometimes I feel like I've lost two of them and I don't know where they've gone. They're probably just in a drawer somewhere. But um, I kind of wanted some more for like the marble worktops in our kitchen because I am literally really, really anal ever since we bought the new dining table and the marble worktops in my kitchen. If anyone has a drink and they don't have a coaster, I'm just like, oh my God. I'm literally going after everyone who ever comes around with like a coaster and like a wipe. Like I have literally become Monica from Friends. Okay, so the next two purchases are incredibly vlogger cliches. Um, so this next one, and I have no idea what I'm even gonna do with this, but I just was like, I like it. It's this gold pineapple. Gold pineapples seem to be all the rage right now. I don't understand it. Where did the pineapple thing come from? I mean, pineapples must be loving life because they're having so much publicity right now, but I don't really understand where it all came from, but um, there we go. Anyways, I thought I would join the trend and buy a gold pineapple. I feel like this looks so much more expensive than what it was like. If you looked at this, I don't think you'd think it was Primark. You may think it's like Anthropology or Urban Outfitters, possibly. So basically, it's just a pot. That's, there we go. It's a, oh my God. Thankfully, I didn't just break the floor, so that was good. But um, yeah, I just thought this would be cute either in here, in my office, possibly on my desk on one of the shelves or I thought I might put it on a bar cart because um, everyone seems to have a pineapple on their bar cart apart from me so maybe I'll be very cliche and put it on um, a bar cart. Oh my god this is a danger just to let you know this is dangerous. Okay, so the final thing that I've got is this candle which I am obsessed with and um, it's this marble effect candle which so it has um, let me take the label out. So there's like this label here. I don't know if you can see because it's pretty light in here. Um, but it's got this candle in it. It's got two wicks. And the scent is white amber. It doesn't really smell of much to be fair. It kind of just smells... I don't know. It's it, it just smells like a candle if that makes sense. Like it just doesn't really smell that strongly. But it's a very nice fresh scent. Yeah, I just think it looks a lot more expensive than what it was. It was only £5 and apparently the candle... Uh, burns for up to 30 hours, so that's quite good. Remove before burning. Oh, it means packaging. I've meant the candle then, and I was like, how can you move the candle before burning? But it's just this bit. And there you have it, there is my Primark haul. Really hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and to also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. As I said in my last video, I am so sorry for the lack of videos recently. I'm actually feeling very um, excited, and I have loads of ideas for videos. I just want to crack on with them now so I'm really really excited to kind of get filming again and hopefully be posting a little bit more regularly so um yeah fingers crossed I won't be having another big break 
anytime soon. But yeah, a big thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you very soon.